Hello friends, this is Maurice Del Taco from Gay Radio 69 and I'm playing Daisy Panthera. I'm joined again by my bird Goldar. In the last episode we got ourselves into a bit of a pickle on the East Airfield, but we came out on top and we earned ourselves a DMR and an M14A. After meeting up with Goldar again after he died, we decided to go look for a camping tent. Camping tents are most commonly found in supermarkets, and the nearest safe supermarket was in Tolmir in the southwest of the map, so we head there. When we were getting close, we run into a guy in the hills. I managed to get a shot on him, but I wasn't recording at the time. Funnily enough, he had a camping tent on him. Crazy, right? We loot the camping tent and a few other things from him, and head towards the place where we want to hide our tent. On the way, we stop for some bacon. Nom nom. At this point, we just want to get to our destination, but we keep running into players. That guy was a fresh spawn, so by shooting at him, we only risk being hurt by other nearby players, as we're quite close to the southwest airfield. We wait for him to pass and carry on. As we are running along the mountain near the west airfield, there is an osprey circling the area above us, and a guy on top of a nearby mountain checking out a helicopter that spawns there. We resist the temptation to shoot them and watch as the guy runs down from the mountain. Shortly after, the Osprey decides to land right in front of us. I had a decent shot on it, but I decided not to take it as it would be too risky. It seems it was picking someone up, probably the guy who was checking out the helicopter on the mountain. We wait for it to leave and carry on running. A moment later, someone else is checking out the helicopter and trying to repair it from what we could tell. We again resist the temptation to shoot and continue north. We heard some Lee Enfield shots from north of us, so we proceed with caution, knowing that we are not alone in this remote corner of the map. Moments later, I spot someone in a tree right in front of us. I easily take him out with a couple of DMR shots and he dies. Yet again, I was not recording, sorry. Goldar, the infantile pillock that he is, goes straight into loot, only to take a Lee Enfield shot to the head from the guy's partner. I take cover and wait for the guy to come out. I spot some movement in the tree and I open fire on it, but nothing seemed to happen. It was pretty weird. If you can tell what happened there, feel free to tell us. I don't see the guy anymore. I proceed to watch the wrong tree for a while. Still nothing. Then I realize I'm watching the wrong tree and start watching the right tree. I even check a grenade. Nothing. Finally Goldar returns and checks the bodies in the tree. All the guns were there. Now Goldar has his stuff back again and we got an MK48 out of it, amongst other things. The guy probably took one gun, I'm guessing some sniper rifle that the first guy had. Oh well. We pitch our tent in a hidden place and put everything we don't need in there before we head back out for some more action. We decide to head to the west airfield, since we're quite close. Once we get there we spot a guy taking off in a C-130, but we didn't get a shot on him or see what Gary had. Shortly after, a player arrives and enters the ATC. We are immensely bored at this point, so we decide to spill some blood. I begin by shooting at a foul cabinet looking object in the ATC. Gotta love those glitches. The guy must have been shitting himself though. Shortly after, Goldar kills him. We thought after all that shooting, it would be a good time to go somewhere else. There wasn't much going on there anyway. We head back north and on the way we spot a care packet. Goldar heads in to loot and we get some spare soldier clothing. A bit further on we spot a C-130 cross with medical supplies. We take 5 blood packs each to put in our base. It comes in handy. We go back to our base with the blood packs and start heading towards the north airfield. On the way there we spot a Huey and it has an MK-12 SPR and an M-40A3. We loot the sniper rifles and take them back to our base. We go back and head to the north airfield again. This time we're a bit past where the Huey was and we spot a yellow Ural driving our direction. It goes past us on the road and we thought it was gone, but then it turns around and drives up the mountain we're on. They stop right next to the Huey, looks like it could have been theirs. Too bad the guns were gone. I have a shot on them so I decide to take it. Turns out my aim is shit and I was way off. No worries though, they decide to drive straight towards us and we take them both out. We finally make it to the north airfield where we decide to play with our new sniper rifles for a bit. I spot a guy on an Osprey who comes in for a landing nearby. BOOM! Headshot! He combat locks though, that asshole. Meanwhile Goldar fires at a guy camping on the roof of the industrial building. A while later, an unsuspecting bandit comes along. He decides to check out the Huey on the airfield. We fire at him and I was sure it was a headshot, 
but then he just runs away. Sniping people with little or no gear is in our style though, so we decide to move on. We make our way to the east airfield this time. We spot a player in a ghillie suit and we watch him for a while. As he's leaving the area, he suddenly turns around and comes back. After watching him for around 10 minutes, he makes the mistake of stopping. I take the shot and he dies. A friend of ours who was playing with us is on the airfield looting, so he goes to check out the body. Just before he gets to the body, I spot a bandit who is about to take our friend down, and thankfully I kill him in time. We got our friend geared up with a DMR and an M4A1 CCUSD after this, pretty nice. Well that's the end of this episode, I hope you enjoyed it. I decided to do post commentary on this one rather than make subtitles. In the next episode I'm joined by Silencio and Noise, but you might remember Noise from the end of last episode. We speak English and get into some really good fights, so make sure you subscribe so you won't miss that. Well thanks for watching friends, have a good day, bye bye!